In this video we are going to see how to set up display and directory modules in Honeywell Trend Control Systems IQ Set Software. Welcome to Controls and Systems YouTube channel. Display and Directory Modules Display and Directory Modules provide the ability to create pages of information that are defined within the controller. These pages can then be accessed from a web browser or by supervisors or displays to present the user with meaningful information from the controller without the need for separate configuration. In the display and directory setup display has three options there are display item, display and directory view and plant view. To set up directory module parameter defaults. 1. Display a strategy page for an IQ3 or IQ4 controller. 2. Click on this symbol or go to the tools menu click display and directory setup. The display and directory setup dialog box is displayed. 3. In the plant view area click edit to the directory box. The directory themes dialog box is displayed. 4. In the pin level box enter the pin level required to access the module. This can be in the range, 1 to 99, 5. Specify default background color for the page by clicking background color, clicking change to display the color dialog box, clicking the required color and then clicking OK to return to the directory themes dialog box. If a background color is not required, clear the background color checkbox. 6. In the refresh rate enter the default refresh rate in seconds. 7. Specify the size of the page. In the width box enter the default width of the page in pixels, 8. In the height box enter default the height of the page in pixels, 9. In the page size box click the default page size, 10. Click OK to return to the display and directory setup dialog box. To set up display module parameter defaults. 1. In the plant view area click edit to the display box. The display themes dialog box is displayed. 2. In the pin level box enter the pin level required to view or use the module. This can be in the range, 1 to 99. 3. Specify the default foreground color for the item by clicking foreground color, clicking change to display the color dialog box, clicking the required color and then clicking OK to return to the styling dialog box. If a background color is not required, untick the foreground color checkbox. 4. Specify the default background color for the item by clicking background color, clicking change to display the color dialog box, clicking the required color and then clicking OK to return to the styling dialog box. If a background color is not required, untick the background color checkbox. 5. Specify the default color used for the dynamic display modules when the item is in an alarm by clicking in alarm color, clicking change to display the color dialog box, clicking the required color and then clicking OK to return to the styling dialog box. If a background color is not required, untick the in alarm color. 6. In the font type box click the default font. 7. In the font size box click the default font size. 8. In the width box enter the default width of the object in pixels. To size the text to fit click auto option. 9. In text align box click the default text alignment that is used if a specific object width is specified. You should ensure that the width check box is clear. 10. Click OK to return to the display and directory setup dialog box. Display items. In the display items box click the item that the display module is to access and drag it on onto the required directory module in the display and directory view box, and release the mouse. If required, the items displayed in the display items box can be limited to specific item types by clicking the appropriate button. All. Displays all items in the strategy. Sensor. Displays all sensors in the strategy. Digital inputs displays all digital inputs in the strategy. Knob displays all knobs in the strategy. Switch displays all switches in the strategy. Driver displays all drivers in the strategy. Time schedule 
displays all time schedules in the strategy, add a static display module, static display modules enable static text to be included on graphical display pages. If required, the static text can be set to be a link to any specified URL. Each display module has a parent parameter, which is the directory module to which it is attached. 1. Display a strategy page for the controller for which the display and directory modules are to be set up. 2. Click on this symbol, or on the tools menu click display and directory setup. The display and directory setup dialog box is displayed. 3. If necessary, add the directory module to which the static display item is to be added. 4. Right click the directory module that is to contain the static display module and click insert static display item. The display item dialog box is displayed. 5. In the label box enter the text that is to be displayed. 6. In the pin level box enter the pin level required to view or use the module. 1 to 99. 7. If the text is to be a link click change. The URL editor dialog box is displayed. 8. In the URL type box click the required type of link from the list. 9. In the URL box enter the destination of the link. What is entered depends on the type of URL selected above see the table below for more information. 10. Click OK. 11. Specify the foreground color for the item by selecting the foreground color checkbox. Clicking change to display the color dialog box, clicking the required color and then clicking OK to return to the styling dialog box. If a foreground color is not required, clear the foreground color checkbox. 12. Specify the background ground color for the item by selecting the background color checkbox, clicking change to display the color dialog box. Clicking the required color and then clicking OK to return to the styling dialog box. If a background color is not required, clear the background color checkbox. 13. In the font type box click the required font. 14. In the font size box click the required font size. 15. In the width box enter the width of the object in pixels. To size the text to fit click width. 16. If the object width has been specified specifically in the text align box, click the required text alignment. You should ensure that the width check box is cleared. 17. Specify the position on the page in the X and Y boxes. 18. Click OK. Adding directory modules. The first stage in setting up display and directory modules is to create the hierarchy by adding directory modules. Click on this symbol, or on the tools menu click display and directory setup. The display and directory setup dialog box is displayed. In the display and directory view box right click P0 and click insert directory. The directory item dialog box is displayed. In the title box enter AHU. Leave the zero in the pin level box. This enables all users to access the module. Specify default background color for the page by clicking background color, clicking change to display the color dialog box, clicking the required color and then clicking OK. If a background color is not required, clear the background color checkbox. In the refresh rate enter the default refresh rate in seconds. In the width box enter the default width of the page in pixels. In the height box enter default the height of the page in pixels. In the page size box click the default page size, click OK. A directory module called a HU is added. Now add another directory module called a HU11 level down in the hierarchy, by right clicking the directory module you have just added, a HU, clicking insert directory, and entering the name of the module. Again, leave the pin level at zero, repeat the process to build up the hierarchy. Right click P0, the directory module, and click edit parameters and edit the title it so that it is called main plant. The number of directory modules that have been added is shown in the directory box at the bottom of the dialog box. Next video.
We are going to see how to set up graphic display pages and trend controller using the IQ set tool. Well, I hope this video is useful to you. Thank you for watching our video. Have a great day.